Hi bag ladies and bag dudes, I'm Sarah Lawson from So Sweetness and today I'm going to show you how to make my cork passport holder. This is a really quick 10 minute project and you can use any material that you can cut raw such as cork, vinyl, leather, or wool. So grab your supplies and let's get started. Okay, before we begin, you'll need to print out the page with the templates, and to do that, you want to open the template page using Adobe Reader. And Adobe Reader is a free program that you can download to your computer or device if you don't have it already. You don't want to open the templates in a web browser and print from there. So when using Adobe Reader and your printer settings, you want to print at actual size, so not scaling or fit to page. It needs to pre be printed at actual size, and you can verify that it printed out correctly by measuring either the one inch square or the four centimeter square with your ruler. And it should be exactly either one inch or four centimeters, not slightly smaller or slightly larger. So to cut the two templates out, you wanna cut out to the outside of the thick black line. And when you've done so, your two pattern pieces should look like this. Okay, so first I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the pocket piece and you need one mirror image pair. So that means two pieces that are mirror images. So I've already done the cutting and this is what they should look like and this is what it means by mirror image, kind of a reflection of the two pieces. And let me show you how to cut out the main panel piece and this needs to be placed on the fold of the fabric and with cork fabric I generally don't like to fold it because it creates a crease. So let me show you how I cut out my cork pieces that need to be cut on the fold. So I'm just using my fabric pen and I'm gonna draw around the outer edge of the pattern piece and I'm also going to draw the straight line where the fold edge is because I'm going to use that straight line to flip my piece over and draw the other half. Okay and then just easy enough um, I'm going to use my scissors and, and cut this piece out on the lines that I drew. And no need to cut that center line that's just a guideline for um, lining up the piece on the other half of the fabric. Okay, so I decided to leave my passport holder unlined, which means there's, um, you can see the backing on the finished passport holder. If you would like your piece to be lined, you can go ahead and cut out a second piece of cork fabric from the main panel and place those two pieces um, wrong sides together right now. Okay, now you're going to take those two pocket pieces and place one on each half so that the fabrics are wrong sides together, just like that. And I'm going to use my Wonder Clips to just keep those layers wrong sides together. And I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew the entire outer edge of the main panel using 1 8 of an inch seam allowance and that will secure both of the pocket pieces. So I'm going to stitch all the way around, including this area where there's no pocket piece, until I come up to the other side. Okay, when you're done stitching this in place, if you have any overhang of the pocket, you can go ahead and trim that even with the main panel. And then you're all finished. Thank you so much for sewing along with me. I can't wait to see your finished passport holder. Be sure to post a photo of your finished project in my Facebook group. And remember, if I can do it, so can you.